Welcome back. As you can tell by the title of this video, I'm going to show you my makeup routine. I usually don't wear makeup every day, but when I do, I wear it for going out and when I just want a little extra on my face so I don't look like a ghost. Before I get started, I am not a beauty guru. I am not an expert in this makeup department. So follow at your own risk and enough talking, let's just get right into this video. It is currently 7 p.m. I'm doing my makeup because friends and I are going out tonight. So I want to look a little bit more evened out. Um, I do have a little bit of dark circles, uh, dark eyes and my face doesn't get as tan as my body. That is typically why I do makeup, but I do very minimal and light coverage because I don't like a lot on my face and I like my freckles showing. Of course, I always start off with skincare. If you guys want a more in-depth video on my skincare routine, give this video a like and a comment down below so I know that that's what you wanna see. My skin has been super dry lately. Usually it doesn't get this dry, but for some reason lately, I've just been having super dry skin. So I've been needing to put extra moisture on my face. I've been using the Kiehl's Ultra Facial Cream. Uh. And I've recently been using the Peach and Lily Antioxidant Matcha Pudding Cream. It's supposed to help with redness, which on my cheeks and a little bit my nose, I do get a little bit red. And I feel like I have been seeing a difference. I've been using it for a little bit over two weeks now, I believe. And my skin has been appreciating it, so see this. I just <laughs> I lightly rub my face and it already gets red, but... I do recommend that moisturizer if you do tend to get a little rosy on your cheeks. Now for what I use on my face, I've been doing my makeup very light coverage since I was in 8th grade I believe. I was always trying to find something that wasn't too heavy that still made me look a little bit glowy and just evened out my skin tone and I think I found my Hail Mary. I've been using the Ilia Super Serum Skin Tint. I use this along with the Drunk Elephant Anti-Pollution Sun Drops. I find the combination of the two works best because since the Ilia Skin Tint does have SPF in it, sometimes it can make my skin look a little bit white casting. So with the Drunk Elephant Sun Drops, it really just works wonders together and I love the combination of the two. This is how I apply it to the face. This is the Ilia Skin Tint and this is the Sun Drops, which the sun drops look too dark for my skin tone, but it really blends in. I just rub it onto my face. I don't use a beauty blender because I literally have like 10 makeup products total, including like brushes and stuff, and the brushes are my girlfriend's. So I just rub it onto my face, especially because it's super moisturizing. Um, it kind of just blends right in. A little bit goes a long way, and I look glowy, and it kind of evens out to my neck. Now, concealer. I have been looking for a perfect concealer forever and thank God for my girlfriend because she got me this one not too long ago. It's the Kosas, I don't know how to pronounce that, in the color 04 Neutral. But again, a little bit goes a long way. I just use it right on mostly on my under eyes and then I use the same product, not double dipping, on these areas. And again, no brush, I just dab it into my face. Also when using a concealer, I like to get one that's close to the color of my skin because when I don't wanna wear anything on my face and I just wanna put concealer on that day, this is perfect for just a quick under eyes and out the door. Then I set it with the Beauty Bakery Translucent Powder. And this is when I do use a brush. I would never really use brushes. I just use my girlfriend's. And there's a lot of cheap options. I literally only use three brushes. One for setting, one for the contour, and a little bit of blush sometimes, just so you don't need a big old pack for what I'm doing at least. Now that that's done, I'm getting a contour brush. If you were to ask me what's the difference between contour and bronzer, I couldn't tell you. And then I'm using my girlfriend's Bare Minerals Bronzer. So I do use a little bit of this because I still want to define my face. I don't want it to just be one solid color. 
I do want some color added in. And then sometimes I just put a little bit under my nose. This is a step that I skip a lot of the time, but when I do want some color added, mostly in the winter, because I don't want to look too pale, um, I do add like the smallest bit to my nose and to my cheeks. And then for eyebrows, I used to do my eyebrows and I used to really fill them in. Thank God that I'm hairy and that I have um, really thick and bushy eyebrows. I do pluck them so they could be like my whole face, but I don't fill in my eyebrows anymore. All I do is put in brow gel. And we are almost done. All I need to do is add a little bit of highlight. Then I finish it off with some Mari Badescu facial spray. Just because, again, I have been super dry lately. Not down there. Kind of just blend everything together. Finish it off with some chopstick. I love to curl my eyelashes. I don't put mascara on anymore just because I feel like it makes my eyelashes a little bit too out there, but I do just want them curled and pretty. And that's how my eyelashes look after just a curl. No mascara. And I finish off everything with Slick Gorilla hair styling powder. I texturize my hair, so make it a little bit more voluminous. And that is that. It is Friday morning. I just finished editing and the video is a little bit shorter than I liked it to be. And I wanted to put a little bit more information in this video. I asked you guys on Instagram to ask me any beauty related questions. But before I get into the questions, what I'm wearing on my face right now is literally just these five products. So if you got to the end of the video and you still thought it was a little bit too much on the face and you wanted to refine it a little bit more, I just mixed the smallest dot with my sunscreen, put some concealer on with a little bit of powder, curl my eyelashes and put on some chapstick and that is all that I'm wearing on my face right now. So the first question is, how do I start? I'm more of a tomboy, not too feminine, but I still want to look pretty and try it. I still know so little about makeup. I never got into it, even though I do put it on. I don't go out of my way searching for items, looking at makeup videos. All the information that I know is from my sister or my girlfriend or what I see now scrolling on TikTok. So getting into makeup can be really overwhelming and a little bit scary if you don't know where to start. I still have no idea where to start. I'm very <laughs> grateful for the women in my life that do wear makeup because that's like who I go to to ask questions and they help me go out there and buy what I like. But if I were alone and I didn't have them, I would say just start off light. Start off with a little BB cream or CC cream. They're very inexpensive, very sheer. That's a good way to start. And then from there you just build up. And yeah, if I were a beginner, I would just start off not with a foundation, just a little cream so that it doesn't feel like there's too much on your face. Next question. How was the first time you put makeup on? Like I said, when I first came out, I was still very feminine. I didn't know what I liked and what I didn't like. I was just trying a whole bunch of different things. I came to realize that I didn't like presenting more feminine and I was so much more comfortable presenting more masculine. I still wear makeup occasionally just because makeup is for literally anyone. Don't let anyone put you in a box just because you do present yourself in some type of way. Or if you have never tried it, don't be afraid to try anything new. If you find out that you don't like makeup, that's okay. And if you find out that you do like it, then it'll be fun and exciting to find out what you like to put on your face. Next question is how do you do your eyebrows? They're amazing. Thank you. So I've always had super bushy brows. In the seventh grade, my mom took me to go get them threaded instead of getting them waxed and they messed up. My eyebrows were super thin and after that I never let anyone touch my eyebrows. I started learning how to pluck them, learned how to wax them myself. Now it's gotten to the point where I don't really need to wax them. I just use a face razor or pluck them. I could do another video on my skincare and my eyebrow routine and how I get my face ready for makeup. But yeah, I do my eyebrows myself just by plucking them or using a face razor on them. Next question, would you ever be interested in doing a makeup collab? 
I think that would be really cool. There's a lot of makeup brands that I would be more than happy to work with. Yeah, I think that would be amazing because obviously you have the beauty gurus and you have the men beauty gurus, but I've never seen anyone like myself do a collaboration with a makeup brand, so that would be really awesome. Last question. Do you prefer high-end or drugstore? By the way, you guys are hard eyes. Support and love from Hawaii. Thank you, sending my love to Hawaii. So I started off with drugstore, worked my way up, not to high-end, but I wouldn't say affordable um, because some of the products that I did use in this video were a little bit on the pricier side, ranging from 20 to a little bit over 50, I believe. So they don't have a price tag of high-end, but I do only use around eight products. So for me, doing the drugstore route and using what I do now, besides these three, I would still use any drugstore makeup. I would use any blush, any bronzer, contour. I would use any makeup brushes, any highlight, any eyelash curler. I did get a question on what which one to use. I really don't even know where I got this, but it wasn't expensive at all. I just use any eyelash curler. I fell in love with these so I don't think I would use a BB cream again after using these because they really just melt on to my skin. You can really go either route but you really do not need to spend that much money for this type of makeup no makeup look. If you are more masculine presenting, don't be afraid to put on a little bit of makeup if that's what you want to do. This is what I'm comfortable in and sometimes I want to do my makeup, sometimes I don't. But this is my minimal everyday makeup routine. If you have any questions, comment down below and I will see you in the next video.